in the opener at DuCoin. Let's meet the starters for the first race. Number one, Uncle Ron is scratched, but the other part of the entry still starts. The 1A is new T-Bird, owned by Tom and Mary Alice Tietrich of Jeff, Illinois, trained and driven by Tom Tietrich. Number two, Sycamore Jameson, owned by William and Susan Pudick of Lewiston, trained and driven by Dave Fagan out of Newton, Illinois. Number three, Little Joe Score, is owned by Gene Millville from right here in DeCoin, trained by Ray Gash and Ray is in the bike. Number four, Vapor Time, is owned by Dick and Barbara Cooley's Tanamira Farms of Felton, Delaware, trained by Irvin Miller. Andy Miller is up. Number five is LB Mighty, owned by Kenneth Buck of Denison, Iowa, trained by Rick Schrock. The driver is Ron Marsh. Number six, Pins and Needles, is scratched. The seven is Big Boy Fred, owned by Curtis Rice of Starkville, Mississippi, trained and driven by Newton's Randy Joe Finn. Number eight, Misty's Mischief, is owned by Jim Ryan and Earl Pemberton of Brownstown and by Chuck Doring of Vandalia, trained and driven by Greenfield, Indiana native David Martin. And number nine is Van Moe, owned, bred, trained, and driven by George Conley from Capron, Illinois, up in the northern part of the state. And post time is now just five minutes away for the first half of the Daily Double at DuCoin, where the track is fast. One year history helped make it a big success because a year ago on the Monday program, the crowd wagered $80,000 for Monday afternoon for last night's card. Patrons wagered $160,000. And again, we thank you. Here they come for tonight's first of our 10 races. They are off and trotting. There goes Van Moe out for the early lead up on the far outside, and Van Moe fires out to get the advantage into the first turn, but Vapor Time will have a ground-saving trip down toward the rail and moves up a close-up second. LB Mighty just went off stride. Van Moe clears all the inside traffic and leads it a length and a half for George Conley. Vapor Time is second. Misty's Mischief third. Little Joe Score is fourth. A gap of five lengths to New T-Bird, who moves up around Big Boy Fred. A long way back to LB Mighty. And Sycamore Jameson is last. Opening quarter went in 30 and one-fifth. It is Van Moe who leads it by a length and a half, but here comes Misty's Mischief up on the outside. Misty's Mischief will get the lead before the halfway juncture, leading it for David Martin by a length. Van Moe second a length and a half. Vapor Time third by three. Then Little Joe score, new T-Bird, big boy Fred, and over 25 more lengths back to LB Mighty, and Sycamore Jameson is last. Misty's Mischief leads them past the half. Van Moe second by two lengths. They got the half in a minute. And one fifth, Vapor Time is racing in third. Three more lengths to Little Joe score than New T-Bird and Big Boy Fred. The rest have ground to make up. Into the far turn, Misty's Mischief leads it by a length, and Van Moe is right on his back in second, followed by Vapor Time, Little Joe score, New T-Bird, and Big Boy Fred as they approach the three-quarter. Two-year-old Illinois bred trotters being led by Misty's Mischief by one length. Van Moe is racing in second by two. Vapor Time third. And then Little Joe score is fourth. They got the three quarters in one minute, 30 seconds flat. Here comes Van Moe off the rail to challenge Misty's Mischief. Misty's Mischief leads it by almost a full length, but now Van Moe draws alongside with Little Joe score coming on the grandstand side. He's third. He's a length and a half off the lead. Then Vapor Time is fourth. Van Moe the new leader, but Little Joe score is there on the outside. Van Moe by a length. Ducoin owned Little Joe Score is trying to catch him but the wire's coming quickly. Van Moe by a length to Little Joe Score. That's how they finish. Van Moe wins the opener. Little Joe Score was home second. Vapor time will finish third and the time was one minute 59 and four fifth seconds. George Conley has made the long haul from northern Illinois way up at Capron to be at DuCoin this evening for this first race with this two-year-old trotter, Van Moe, who's now won four of his five lifetime starts. He's by the late Van Gogh, whom George stood at stud. George, also the breeder of this two-year-old trotter who has just taken a sub-two-minute record. Into the winner's circle, folks, how about a hand for number nine, Van Moe with George Conley. Tex Motes, the bureau chief for county fairs and horse racing for the Illinois Department of Agriculture and a Southern Illinois native from Fairfield, 
congratulates George Conley in the winner's circle as the blanket is presented for this Illinois-bred two-year-old trot. Horses earn the right to start in these $5,000 events based on county fair winnings, kind of a consolation race, if you will, to the county fair challenge. Result official. Let's talk to George Conley real quickly. George, I talked to you at Farmer City at the fair a few weeks ago. You said this trotter has talent, but you said he wasn't the smartest colt in the world. Is he getting smarter? A lot smarter today. I could leave, let somebody go, race him like a horse. We don't see you at DuCoin very often. It's a long ship. What do you think about this night racing at DuCoin? It's good for the people. It should draw a better crowd, and it's a lot better for the horses. Indeed. We'll echo those same thoughts, folks. One more hand for Mr. George Conley, our winning driver.